Welcome to another Ecom Geeks video. Today we're going to be turning a boring photo banner into a video banner. Also, if you like videos like this, make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn notifications on. So you can try this tutorial on any free Shopify 2.0 theme. So let's get started. Once you're in the back end of your Shopify store, what you want to do is you want to click on online store and under themes, what we're looking for is three dots here. And then what we want to do is click on edit code. Once we're in the code editor, what we want to do is scroll all the way down, click on sections, add a new section, and we'll go ahead and type in video dash banner, hit done. You can go ahead and delete all the information that's here. Now you want to go ahead and go into the Facebook group where you'll find the code. And all you want to do is copy and paste that into here. So I've got the code, I'm going to click paste and hit save. Once that's saved, that's all we need to do for any coding portion of this tutorial. Now I'm going to go ahead and hit back. Next thing we want to do, in case you don't have a video, you can visit pexels.com, hit videos, and then you can go ahead and click on any of these videos or search for one specifically. Click on free download, and then from here, you can decide if you'd like an HD version, a full HD version. It's important to keep in mind, the higher the definition, the bigger the file, and normally they will slow down your website. Once you've downloaded and selected your file, you wanna go ahead and click on Content, Files, and then go ahead and upload your file. We've already done so, so we're gonna copy the file link. And now we're going to go back into the online store. Click on customize. And now we want to go ahead and add the section that we've created in the back end. So add section. And now we're looking for our video section, which is right here, video background. And I'll go ahead and move this to the top. So under video slide, we're going to go ahead and put in the video link that we've already copied and pasted. Now we'll go through all the different settings that are possible with this new video banner. First things first, we have a full screen height option, which allows for us to sort of have a video load in exactly the same height as the browser. So for example, if I was to select this, it would automatically take the full width of my screen. If we want to turn this off, hit the checkbox again. And then we can also manually select the mobile height. So hypothetically, we can turn this into 800 pixels. The normal ideal size is about 500 pixels for a video on mobile. As we scroll down, we have the option of putting in a different title. So let's say we want to name it video only. We can do so. We can also select the mobile font size from here. As you can see, it gets bigger. As we scroll down, we're going to have more options such as adding a description to this video. So for now, I'm just going to add lorem ipsum. We can choose the descrip description color. So as you can see right now, it's black, but we can turn this into white. We can add a background to this. So we can add a black background. We can also play with the padding between the two sections. So as we go back up here, the mobile space between the title and the description, which is the space from the video and then lower mipsum. As you can see, if I was to make this 25, it'll increase the spacing there. Now let's take a look at the desktop version of this. I'm gonna hit desktop. Going back to the top here, also with desktop, we have the option to choose our height. So let's say we want to have an 800 pixel video height. Normally 700 is ideal. As we scroll down, we can have a desktop specific title color. So let's make this red in our case. We can also add a background to the description itself. We can also add padding to the description box. So for example, if I was to add 25 pixels here, you'll notice that there's a little leeway room now uh, within the title and the description. We can also make the box wider or smaller. In our case, let's try to say 400 pixels. 
as you can see, it shrinks. If we wanted, we could turn this 600 pixels so there's more text. Once you're happy with all the changes you've made, all you have to do is hit save. Again, if you like videos like this, make sure to hit the subscribe button.